What's a glitter pony? Sir? 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 Welcome back to another Spooktober video. Uh, this game isn't really a scary game from what I understand. However, I believe it's in the realm of some of the other videos that I have played on here that are a little bit more on the peculiar side of things. Nonetheless, I am super excited. I love these types of games, so let's jump right into it. Oh my god! Light switch. Door. Oh! It's locked! Um... I'm gonna go with burn victim. I could answer the phone. Oh my god! Okay, that's where I'm sleeping. <gasps> Little key! Yeah! See, he gets it. Hello? It's okay. Sal, everything is gonna be okay now. Come and see. What the hell? What are you talking about? Come and see. Uh, Weird. It sounded like my dad. Why is the phone line uh, d d disconnected? Oh, my door's gone. P. Oh, wrong door. C. Oh, that's the wrong door. So it was definitely D. D. O. Ha ha. D. O. G. Oh. Um. What are we all doing here? We're just hanging out in the rain. In all black. Huh. Hi, dog. Who's a good doggy? Who's a good boy? I buried her alive, kid. You tell me. What the hell? Huh? Go see for yourself. Ugh! Oh, Diana Fisher, beloved mother and wife. Mom? Oh! Oh, we're just gonna climb down into it. Okay. Um, sure. Ah, batteries not included. Passcode? Well, uh, four, eight, three. Oh, is this my dad? Hello? Dad, you are not my son. Oh, my son is not a murderer. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> this is your fault. Oh, that's a nice thing to say, Mom. Are you... Uh... Where are her eyes? What the hell? And that's when I woke up. Hmm. Yes. It's an interesting dream. I think we should come back to that dream later. But for now, can you tell me more about the body? Which one? The second one. The one from the apartment. Dad and I had just moved in. I had a weird feeling about that place right away. Episode 1. Strange Neighbors. This will be our new beginning. We can finally leave what happened in New Jersey behind us now. Why don't you go explore the building and make some friends while I finish unpacking? Ooh, sleep aid! Dad still has trouble sleeping at night after. After... 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 <laughs> after what? <gasps> Cat! Oh, its name is Gizmo! Hi, Gizmo! Hello! Hello. Hmm. 
Why are you standing here? I'm protecting nosy little freaks like you from seeing what they ought not to see. Now scram. I don't get paid to babysit. Who are you? I'm your fairy f godmother. What does it look like? I'm an officer of the law, so you better show me some respect. Nice talking to you. Notice, this floor is currently being renovated. For your safety, please make your way to the nearest exit. Alright, time to go on a house tour! Oh, it's locked. Oh, it's locked. Da -da -da -da. Huh? There's a small hole here. <gasps> Rat friend? I can't really see anything on the other side. Rat friend- Oh, okay, that's not a rat. Alright, I'm gonna pretend I didn't see that. Oh! This one's open. Hello? Sorry, I didn't think anyone lived up here. Hello? Sir? Are you okay? You shouldn't have come here. I'm sorry. I was just trying to get to know my new neighbors and... A dark place. This building. Horrible things happen. Are you sure you're okay? Ugh! Uh, oh, he's just gone. What the? I'm sure that's nothing to worry about. Well, I do like the hands on the door. Let's definitely go in there. That's weird. The bathroom door is locked. Sorry, you just startled me a little. He must be one of the new guys from 402, yeah? With all the excitement going on today, I haven't had a chance to stop in and say hi. Yeah, it's just me and my dad. My name is Sal. Pleasure to meet you, Sal. I'm Lisa. I take care of this place. Keep things up and running. So if you ever need help with anything, don't hesitate to ask, okay? Sure, thanks. You're quite welcome. Hello. Oh, 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 oh! Yeah, who's there? Hello, I'm new in the building. Just wanted to introduce myself to the neighbors. Okay, come in. I was gonna do voices, but I think I might just have slight tonal changes and that's about it. Or I might just do my normal voice the whole time. Hi, my name is Sal. I just moved in today with my dad. What the hell is with your face, kid? You know, honestly, asking the real question. Oh, well, I know. Young teens, a new generation of self-expression. I was young once myself, I get it. Just so long as you're not in a gang or anything. You're not in a gang, are you? No, no, it's nothing like that. Wonderful. Well, I'm Charlie. Don't mess with my stuff and we'll be okay. I'm a collector, you see. I collect many things. I like the nice yellow stains. Mmm. And all those other spots on your shirt. These things are like my family, so if you mess with my collections, you're messing with my family. Got it? Yes, sir. Not a problem. I won't be giving you any troubles. Good to hear. Bask in the glory of my complete set of glitter ponies. A great accomplishment it is to have this full set. You can look all you want, but don't even think about touching them. What's a glitter pony? Sir? 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 My god, child. Have you never seen my glitter ponies, Rainbow Spectacular? It's only the greatest television show ever produced. Oh, taking a hit at the MLP people. <laughs> it's got drama, action, romance, comedy, everything you could want. And the ponies. Oh, the ponies. Don't even get me started. Mm, yeah. Um, I guess I missed that one. I'll have to look for it on TV. Yes, you will. Trust me, you won't regret it. So... Yep, I know you're speechless because you've never seen such an awesome collection. Yeah. Don't worry, anytime I'm home, you can stop by and take it all in again. Nice place you got. It's my own chunk of heaven. Just me and my stuff. 
Do you live here alone? Alone? Look around you, I have all the company I could ever need. Well, it is nice to have a visitor from time to time, I suppose. Bye. I feel like I need to give him a different voice now. That's fine. It's okay, I won't have consistent voices for any of these people. <laughs> oh? <gasps> yeah, what do you want? A little early for trick-or-treating, isn't it? Stupid good-for-nothing kids. <laughs> Ooh. Hello. Oh dear, what a frightful... Uh... Pardon me, let's start over. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments, room 402. How may I be of service? Can I come in? Heavens, no. I'm afraid that I'm quite particular about my privacy. I'm sure you understand. Sure. See ya. Farewell, friend. Oh! That looks like a detective. What's going on? Hello, young man. You just moved in today, correct? Yes, sir. I already spoke with your father. Seems you two were out of state when everything happened last night. Story checks out, that's good. Try not to get in our way for now, okay? We're investigating a serious crime. Was it murder? I can't talk about that. What do others say about the building? Oh, all kinds of stuff, I'm sure. This building is well over a hundred years old, you know. People are always complaining about one thing or another. But you'll hear no complaints from me. I'm a woman of action. If I see a problem, I fix it. So, do you know anything about what happened in 403? It's a shame you and your dad had this crummy first impression. I promise things aren't typically so gruesome around here. Poor Mrs. Sanderson. Who's Mrs. Sanderson? Oh, never mind that. Best not to set your mind on such dreadful things. Is there anything to do for fun around here? You know what? I have a son around your age. I think you two would get along great. He's downstairs in our apartment. You should go introduce yourself. Sure, I'll go say hi. Is this building haunted? Sal, sweetie, I've been taking care of the Addison apartments for a long time, and I've never seen any ghosts or goblins. That's just people's overreactive imaginations. Too much sweets and scary movies, if you ask me. I guess media is the problem. <laughs> Aww. That's so cute. Oh. What the hell was that? Ah, nothing to worry about. Let's go over to this corner here. <laughs> Hello, Larry. Yeah? Hey, uh, Larry, your mom said I should come say hi. I just moved into 402. Oh, hey. Come on in. Door's open. Whoa, nice mask. Ugh! It's a prosthetic. Oh shit, sorry, man. It's cool. I'm used to much worse by now, so I'm glad you like it. So, do you, like, have no face under there? What happened? I'd rather not talk about that. Okay, change of subject. I'm Larry. I live down in here with my mom. I'm Sal. My friends call me Sally Face. I just moved here with my dad from New Jersey. Sally Face? I guess I didn't really have any decent friends, to be honest. So once they started calling me that, I figured if I own the name, then the assholes couldn't use it against me. You're a complicated dude, aren't you, Sal? You're pretty strange. I like you. We're gonna get along great. <laughs> That's what your mom said, too. Mother knows best. I like your shirt. 
Thanks stands for Sally face. <laughs> I do have my own clothing line, so... <laughs> it's actually for this metal band called Sandy's Fall. Do you like metal? I don't know. Oh, that's gotta change. Check out this song. It's their first single. The full album comes out in a few months. I actually do like metal, personally. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> What happened in 403? Shh, not so loud, man. What? What is that? The killer is still in the building. How do you know that? I saw it happen. Are you high right now? I wish I was, man. This was some scary shit. What happened? Okay, so I was helping Mrs. Sanderson with the clock toilet. I was just finishing up when I heard him burst in, yelling like a lunatic. I know what you've done. Herman told me everything, you stupid bitch. She tried to calm him down, but before she could even get a few words out, he was cutting her throat wide open. I was shocked. I couldn't move. I was frozen by fear, man, just peeking through the crack in the bathroom door. Anyways, it all happened so fast and then he cleaned up quickly and left. I don't know how, but he didn't even see me. I haven't really told anyone yet, not even my mom, but I trust you. You know who did it? Yeah, it was definitely Charlie, big creeper from 204. He was wearing gloves, so I don't think they got any prints or anything. Shouldn't you tell the cops? I actually tried to talk to that detective, but he won't listen to me without some kind of evidence. Like my word isn't enough. What's up with the guy in 103? That's Mr. Addison. He owns this place. I don't think I've ever seen him leave his room. Always talks through his little mail slot. He's a nice dude, just real strange. Oh yeah, if you say Addison tea, please and thank you to him, he'll give you a cup of his famous tea. I hate the stuff myself, but the adults seem to love it. What's this thing? That's a, a police scanner. I can listen in on local cop chatter. How the hell did he get this thing? That's a story for another day. But hey, he just gave me a great idea. If I make a fake call, maybe I can distract them long enough for you to sneak into 403. Maybe we can find some kind of evidence to show that detective something they weren't looking for. Pretty quick to sign me up for the break-in. Well, I gotta make the call down here and... I'm just messing with you. I'm totally up for this. They want you to peek in that room anyways. Sweet. So what's the plan? I'll call in a bank robbery, hostage situation, and that should clear out the cops for sure. I'm guessing that'll buy us a few minutes until they figure out it wasn't real. You gotta be upstairs when I do that, so we can make those minutes count. We can use my walkie-talkies to communicate during the whole thing. That I can give you a heads up too, once I know the cops are coming back. Sounds pretty solid to me. Maybe just switch the bank robbery with the armed robbery at like a gas station or drugstore. Make it a little more believable. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Good call, Sally. Here, take this. Head to your room and let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm in my room now. Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna make the call. Give me a second. Okay, it's done. I heard a bunch of hustling upstairs, so I think it worked. Go see if you can get into 403 now. Yay! Oh my god! Yeah, let's step on all the evidence. There's a broken coffee table with some books. Look like anything important? Just looks like junk to me. Alright, keep looking then. There's gotta be something else. Man, this is pretty twisted. 
Tell me about it. Oh my god! The little glitter ponies! There's these little figures. Looks like one is missing. I can see a small clearing in the blood. Hmm. That's it. I know how we can get him. Get out of there and come down to the basement. Sanderson and Charlie both collected those weird toys. They're nuts over those things. Mrs. Sanderson got this super rare one or something. She was telling me about it that day I was fixing her toilet. Anyways, I bet you Charlie couldn't resist taking it. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if that's why he offed her in the first place. That dude always did give me the creeps. Just something unsettling about him, you know? Wow, this is crazy. This guy definitely needs to get caught. We can't live in a building with a murderer. Exactly. That's why you gotta get into Charlie's room and see if you can find that toy. Wait, why do I have to do it? I snuck into 403. Charlie isn't too fond of me. There's no way he'd let me in. He accused me of stealing snacks from his room. Snacks! Ari, Ari, right, I'll do it. We'll be able to sleep at night otherwise. Cool. You're the man, Sally. Here, take this baggie. You can slip the toy in without touching it. Why do I get the feeling you've done this before? <laughs> nah, I just watched too much TV. Oh! Ah! Yes! There's one with blood on it! Mr. Addison. Hello, young sir. New resident of Addison Apartments. Room 402. How may I be of service? Addison Tees, please and thank you. Yes, coming right up. Oh! <gasps> There you are, sir. Please enjoy. Oh, yay! Oh, it's an Addison tea I smell. Yeah, I just got some from... Oh, I just love Addison tea. Give it here. Sir? Sir? That's my tea? That's my tea, sir? That is so tasty. So relaxing. Oh! Well, that was easy. Ah, must have dozed off for a second there. I hope you weren't thinking about touching my ponies while I was sleeping, Sal. I was starting to like you. Wouldn't dream of it, Charlie. Good, good, I'm glad. Say, if you get any more Addison tea, I would love some more. Mr. Addison already cut me off for the day. Hey. <laughs> Whoa. Um, hey. I'm Sal, just moved in. You can call me Sally Face. Chug, nice to meet you, Sally Face. Nice to meet you, Chuck. How'd you get your nickname? Huh? What nickname? Uh, never mind. Do you think this building is haunted? Why? Didn't you see something too? Yeah, I think so. Knew it. Knew I'm not crazy. Ha! <laughs> so you seen that old man? Old man? No, I think that's just some crazy homeless dude that sleeps up on five sometimes. But I did see lots of stuff, man. Crazier than just that old bum. I keep trying to tell everyone, but no one ever believes me. Well, I believe you. Aw, oh, thanks, Sally Face. Oh, I did see a girl once. Huh? A girl? I thought it was a homeless guy's daughter, but she just disappeared. That's why I use my key to lock the bathroom shut tight. It's too scary. Wait, you have a key to 504? Yep, I found it on the ground. Let's go check it out together. No way. Not going in there. Ghosts live in there. How about you let me borrow the key and I'll check it to make sure it's safe. Can't just give you the key, but maybe you can trade me something for it. I get to take candy or money for the snack machine. Got anything like that? No, I don't, but I think I know where to find it. Damn it. Hey, a quarter. Score! See, that's right. Sometimes I notice things. Haha! -ha! Oh man, heck yes. Here, take it. Haha! -ha! Is anyone in here? It's okay, I won't hurt you. I I'm a friend. Yeah, sure. My name is Sally Face. Yeah. 
your name is funny. You're not scared of me, Sally Face? No, of course not. Okay, that's good. Why do you have pigtails in your hair? That's for girls, silly. <laughs> Whoever said that only girls can wear their hair in pigtails? I like pigs too. Honestly. It's like when people get mad over like the whole nail polish thing with guys. Who gives a shit? It's a whole lot of nunya. Anyways. I never thought of that. You're funny, boy. Well, I'm not really all alone. There are... <gasps> Hello, little girl? Are you still here? Huh. Chuck, what are you doing up here? I'm asking myself that same question. I thought you were too scared of this room. I am, but you were gone for so long. I need to check on you, you know? Make sure the ghost didn't get you. Thanks, man. I'm okay. Nothing got me. Good, good. So, I was thinking... Maybe you keep that key. I don't like coming up here anyway. You seem more into it. Alright, I'll hold on to it, but you can borrow it anytime you want. Okay, deal. Oh! I just realized! The tree, the dog, the funeral. Nice. Definitely no symbolism there. Oh, I know exactly what to do. I'm such a bonehead. So we're gonna go to the fourth floor, go to the bathroom, and then I have my sleeping pills in the bathroom. So we crush it up, put it into this Addison tea, and then that should do the trick. This will knock that fat bastard out for sure. Oh my god. Kid. Alright, Charlie, it's time for a nice long nap. Got another cup from Addison. As much as I love that stuff, I don't know if I can drink another drop today. As surprising as that sounds. Really? But it's fresh. Nice and hot. Well, maybe. No, I don't want to overdo it. I've probably had at least 20 cups today. Are you positive? This is, um, this is a new recipe Mr. Addison was trying out. I already had three cups and I thought it was way better than the other kind. I even... Oh, I have to try that. Give it here. This is better than his original. I don't know how he... <laughs> Got the toy. Score! Ah, nothing like drugging the neighbors on the very first day to leave a lasting impression. Positive, of course. I got the toy. Alright, Mr. Smooth Criminal, I knew you could do it. Thanks, man. I was nervous for a second there. I bet. Now all you need to do is give it to that detective, and it'll all be over. I think I know who did it. Have you been talking with that Larry boy? I can't put much faith in a teenager with a criminal record. Oh, I, uh... Look, I appreciate you kids trying to help, I do. But unless you've got some sort of evidence, then please refrain from spreading rumors. I've got evidence. Let me see that. This came from Charlie's room? How did you get this? I was just saying hello to my new neighbors, you know, trying to introduce myself to everyone. I was in there talking to Charlie, and he was showing me all of his toys. That's when I noticed one had blood on it. I thought for sure this would be helpful, so I grabbed it with my lunch bag. Well, well. A little detective in training, huh? <laughs> Not bad, kid. I hold on to this. Just remember next time you come to us with this info, instead of putting yourself at risk, okay? Yes, sir. You got it. Ah, Mr. Detective! Good work today, Sal. You can rest easy now. Oh! I'm innocent, I swear. I thought you were my friend. But no one was around, so I looked into the back of the window of the van. Oh my god! Such a horrific sight for anyone to see, let alone a young child as you were. Fifteen years old, and already you had witnessed two gruesome scenes. It must have been very traumatic for you. Sure, I guess so. 
and all these years later, the new evidence that finally proved Charlie was falsely accused. After so much of his life spent behind bars, how did that make you feel? I'm not convinced it wasn't him. Yes, so you've said. What about Larry? What about him? Like I said, the guy was my best friend all through high school. And after high school? We've been over this. I lost touch with Larry after graduation. I don't know where he is now. He seemed to be upset by my mention of him. I just don't know what good asking the same questions all the time is doing. I thought you were supposed to help me. I understand your frustration, Sal. I do. I want to help you, but you seem to be holding something back. I can't help you unless you're completely honest with me. Do you understand where I'm coming from? Yeah. Mm. Well, unfortunately, our time is up for today. Wait. I... It's about Larry. I'm sorry, Sal. You know how strict they are on the schedule. Please keep that thought for our next session. <sighs> next week will be our last meeting before your trial, so I hope you'll let me help you. What? Trial? Oh, that explains the orange. I don't think you are a murderer, Sal. You might be the only one. What? So we're getting framed? Sal? Sally, where are you? Whoa! I want to see the doggy, Mom. Can't you hear him? Why don't you wait until your father gets here, okay? He should be here any minute now. But I really want to see it. Please? Please, can I go pet the doggy? Alright, Sal. Just give me a second to get my purse. Then we can go together. Yay! I'll wait over there by the trees. Mom! Ah! Why do I have dirt coming off me like that kid from Peanuts? Oh my god! Oh, the dog, like, ripped his face or something, didn't it? Oh. Whoa, what the hell? Thank you so much for coming to help me with the toilet. No problem, Mrs. Sanderson. I'll have it unclogged in no time. Wonderful. Herman normally would have taken care of it himself, but unfortunately his fingers have turned into banana peels. And the street corner is just so dangerous. I understand. Thank you so much, Larry. The bathroom is just over there. Oh my god. Oh. oh that's a weird looking toy. Oh. 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 Are you there? Please, help me. What's wrong? The water. It stopped. So thirsty. Don't worry, I know how to fix this. Please. Hurry. Oh, what the hell? Wow, this is a nice bathroom. Ooh. I don't know what that did. A chunk. Damn it! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Not so much. I think it's in order. Yeah! It worked! Nice. So then I go back to the pony. Oh! Uh, Mrs. Anderson? Oh! <gasps> uh, m m m Mrs. Sanderson? Oh. 
Oh, God. Uh. Sure, let's just wander into the void. Charlie? Sal, come closer. I have something to show you. 